In this episode, we will talk about mobile landing pages. Since 2015, I've been focusing on two things, landing pages and conversion rate optimization. And over the years, I've seen a shift where most businesses target customers who use their mobile phones to search on Google. So when working with a new client as part of the discovery, we ask our clients to fill out a questionnaire. And in one of the questions, we learn about the traffic distribution between desktop and mobile users. With most B2C businesses, the primary focus is on mobile users. So we take a mobile first approach. And in this video, I will share six things we consider when designing mobile first landing pages. Sticky footer button. In the new iOS release, Apple moved the browser bar from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. The reason is simple. Phones are getting bigger. The header section is kind of unreachable. So by having the search box closer to the thumb, users can easily access it. So in a similar approach, we use sticky buttons, which users can click any time while scrolling the page. By having a call to action button closer, users can easily click and convert. To improve usability, try to keep limited form fields. As users are checking out your landing pages from small screens, keep your form elements spaced out so visitors can fill them out easily without accidentally clicking on the wrong one. Avoid using drop down menus. Use easy to find and tap big chunky buttons. Multi-step forms are great for mobile users as users can fill out each question at a time, which allows them to go quickly through the form without scrolling. And final recommendation on call to action buttons. Make them bold, bright and clickable. A call to action that is 44 by 44 pixels should be large enough to accommodate most people's thumbprints. But you also need to make sure that there's enough space around the buttons to avoid accidental clicks. You can use a tool like legionapp.io to easily create multi-step forms without writing any code. Page speed is not just an essential factor, but the most crucial factor in user experience and conversions. More than half of mobile users abandon web pages that take more than three seconds to load. Your landing page should load within kind of two seconds, ideally, but in a worst case scenario, two to four seconds is kind of acceptable. If it loads more than four seconds, it's something you should work on. As research on the impact of site speed on conversion rate by Potent in 2015 found, when web pages load in less than one second, the average conversion rate is on almost around 32%. At a one second load time, the conversion rate already drops to 20%, and at two seconds, the conversion rate begins to level off at 12 to 13%, and further reaching its lowest at a five second load time. A great tip is to compress your images before uploading them on the page. You can also use Google's PageSpeed Insights tool, which will offer tips on how to improve your website's load time. You only need to enter your URL. Check out Think with Google mobile testing tool to learn more about improvements you can make to your mobile web pages. Show copy first. If you have pictures and videos on your page, make sure to include a heading that shows up first when users scroll. Without good copy, users won't understand the context of an image or video. Responsive design. Don't show a desktop page to a mobile user. Ideally, create a separate mobile friendly page or adjust the page to have a one column layout. Using tools like Unbounce, you can create a completely separate mobile page. You can also use the same desktop page and adjust it for mobile users by hiding or showing certain sections. If you're running Google Ads and want to offer a unique experience for mobile visitors, you can easily change the mobile URL of an ad in the Google Ads editor. Click to call buttons. For local businesses, visitors usually pick up the phone and call them. Well, this is a typical behavior what I do. For local professional service landing pages, consider including a prominent call to action that says, call now, or a phone number with a clickable hyperlink. Tap to call buttons are an easy way of reducing friction and increasing conversions. So next time when building a landing page for mobile users, consider these six things. If you liked watching this video, check out my other videos on landing pages and B2B lead generation, linked here. And as usual, before you go, here's a little gift. If you head over to 99landingpages.com and use the discount code WBYT, 
you will get 50% off across all landing page templates. This code applies to the first 100 customers, so hurry before it's gone. Until next time, have a good one.